Hi everyone, you're watching Ready for Tomorrow with Tess. I'm here with Amesh Vijay Sekara. Amesh is one of AOD's alumni who has reached great heights in terms of fashion designing. Amesh, tell us a bit about how you started and where you are right now. So, hello, first of all, I'm Hi. started here at AOD where I did my BA in fashion and textile design. I did here half years, I started here and then it just became a final year and I applied for the Mercedes Benz Fashion and Apparel Awards in the industry graduate collaboration category. Okay. And I, I won that. And from that, I was selected to represent Sri Lanka and AOD at the Graduate Fashion Week in London, which is the largest graduate media show in the world. Okay, that was and last year? That was, in 20, that was the year after I graduated in 2016. Okay, 2016. Uh, yeah, so. And yeah, I was happy to add the Oracle International Fashion Runway, uh, which is uh, there was a country uh, college in all the world from Paris to Milan, New York, China, Bangkok, Long Bank, India, everywhere. And surprisingly, I won that time again, and now that I went back and won that. And then, I, for one whole year, I was working with design, design house, so I did different internships. And I just applied for the IFES, International Fashion Showcase, in partnership with the British Council and the British Fashion Council, Somerset House, and London uh, College of Fashion. And there were about 70 designers around the world who applied for this. So there were different stages, and finally, 15 designers were selected, and I happened to make it through. So, so you that, will be, your collection will be showcased at so London yes, Fashion Week? Yes, yes. Fashion Week in next year, 29th in February. So I'll have an installation and the pieces will be uh, viewed by National Bio Press Media and uh, the World Fashion Week. So that's it. That's how it works. I'm very excited. That's pretty cool. What stands yeah. out in your collection? What what makes it cool, Chesley? I was just myself. You know, okay. I did what I wanted. I did it, you know, not about being authentic, authentic who you are and what you believe yeah, in and yeah. that's what you know, differentiates you from other designers and what you know your work stand out yeah. And also working with local industries I want to do now. Um, we have a passion for textile design and so I work with uh, especially in Eastwear, something which is new to Sri Lanka, not many East Sri Lanka are not known for uh, trying to reach very soon in London Eastwear. Okay. I think that again, when I was at the IFA, the judging panel, we'd be surprised about that and pleased about that. Yeah, so that's the big Yes, that yeah. is something which I think you know, it's um, kind of differentiated to me from the other designers. Yeah. Because it's just a common thing I have. Okay, so you probably had some really amazing experiences. Do you want to tell us what was your favorite experience? The highlight so far, I, I would say, I mean, it's graduate fashion week. That still, you know, as I was about my name was announced in the morning, I, I remember uh, the Vogue uh, Italia, the senior editor, Sara, um, Sara Mohan, and she pulled me up actually and they took me to kitchen. That was quite an exciting kind of, you know, yeah. moment. And also, I, I got to meet the legendary. Dana Rose, she's kind of a punk, I find punk designer in London. And I interned in her studio for about two months and she has a me meeting New York and London and I managed to meet her one, one day. It's amazing, you know, with her taste in care and you know, yeah. that was quite an exciting moment. And also, I was backstage for London Fashion Week Men's and Women's. So I got to work back with two designers, sibling and the head of Lindy. It's quite exciting to see the whole of the bus. Yeah. Just in general, I think because I have this great community in London and now we are based in London, but production has been still. So I think the two cities are so different. I think just you know, fashion London, fashion capital. Mm -hmm. Just being there itself is you know quite crazy, quite you know crazy. Yeah. It's very fine. Was uh, the whole world is that it's so diverse, so many parts, and that just keeps me going, going every day. And Sri Lanka, the chaos, the calmness, the craziness, you know. That I think it's a balance of the two, you know, the mix of the two. And the daily, every day there's something to look forward to, every day there's something exciting that happens down here. So, you know. Okay, we're gonna do a quick rapid fire session. Um, are you ready? Okay, what's your go to outfit? Well, if I can live in one thing every day, it will be a tiny little short and a baggy t shirt and take those. Okay, cool. Um, favorite fast food restaurant? 
I, to be honest, I don't eat much fast food. I okay, that's good. That's I good. Cool. Okay, yeah, cool. Cooking, so um, so. One line that you go by that motivates you. <laughs> Maybe the moment, yeah. Okay. One thing that you miss uh, when you're in London, something about Sri Lanka. Uh, home cooked food, uh, okay. noodles of curry and spice. Oh, yes. Yeah, we all love our curry. Okay. Spice, the most London food is so land, but yeah, oh. spice. spice, spice, spice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Amish. It was nice talking Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.